So as of now, I just figured out a very simple solution for dealing with um, the slide problem or the slope problem in Godot. So I'll comment out the code that was making it work. And I'll run my game real quick, just to show you guys the issues. So Godot, just by itself, if you just use a move and slide function, it has a lot of issues and you have a hard time going up slopes. Like it just doesn't move right. And I think that has a lot to do with velocity. So look, I can't even go up all the way on the slope, even if I sprint and watch. Yeah, I can barely go up that slope. And it's not as bad like when there's a larger slope, which is weird, but bam. See, but what I figured out is you have to give yourself a little bit of jumping force when you go up the slope, because you have to even out the, um, the Y velocity as well as the X velocity and the Z velocity and all that fun stuff. But yeah, so boom, I go up the slope. So this is where I got the idea for the code from, is from just uh, jumping up the slope and seeing that I was able to go up the slope just fine as long as I had some Y velocity. So basically what happens, this, I'll go over the first thing with you, is that you have to make your uh, you don't, I don't know if you have to do this, but here's how I did it just in case you run into problems using the same code that I'm doing. So I made a collision shape and a capsule shape formation right here. As you can see, it's a capsule shape. It's not a circle. And um, yeah, and here's an orthogonal view. I like that because it's like a little flat and I put it to the side. And bam! See what? I have a little rectangle shape at the bottom near where the feet is. Or are. Or, yeah, near where the feet are. And um, yeah, and you can see from the top, it looks like a, rec a square. And the four edges of this rectangle are pointing out, or like kind of protruding out of the capsule shape. And at the bottom, the capsule shape is still the like the bottom most piece. So the rectangle does not touch the bottom of the collision shape. But yeah, but it gets the sides a little bit so to stop it on slopes. And right here, let me see, let me see, I will go over the move inside function. So here's how the move inside function is set up. So you put in the velocity, you have the vector three up as a second parameter. Stop on slopes is set to true. I have a four for the number of slides, which is a default value, but I had to put that default value in to reach this one, which is the max slope angle. So I have that at 70 degrees, but in radian form, actually, I put, put all that into the move inside function, get the velocity, and get the slides after that call, which is a get slide count. And if there are more than uh, zero slides, then I call this function down here that uh, fixes the uh, slope problem in Godot 3.2. So it checks each collision or each slide, and it um, finds one that has a slide collision. So uh, yeah, so if um, it gets a slide collision, and it puts that into a variable, puts a result of that, and with in the collision uh, has a normal value attached to it. And I looked at the y value, the normal y, and if that's less than one, that means that you're not on flat ground anymore. That means that you're on a slope. And I made sure that if the player is moving, it's the only time that it does this. So basically, what I did is I set the velocity y, the velocity dot y equal to the normal dot y. So if you go on, a, on like a maybe a 30 degree slope, it would get the, the whatever the normal is of 30 degrees. And uh, yeah, so this you don't have to use raycast for this me method, which is very nice because you could actually just use move inside base almost right out of the box. You just have to put a couple things in here, like the slides, and you have to check if there's more than one sl zero slides, and then yeah, and then do this code and check each slide. So let's look at the code now. This works just fine. It works perfectly. And boom, watch. I can even like press control, go very slow up the slope, and I stop just fine. And that's how it should be. So let's see, I can go up this too. I can go like up and down it. It doesn't matter. I could move just fine up this. And yeah, and of course I move slower down. I move a little bit, I mean, I move slow, faster down and a little bit slower up. I think I'm actually moving still at 7.5 actually. No, 5.80. So that's my, the, the value at the bottom, which is labeled as speed, is just my, the magnitude of the velocity. And bam, it's 
So it's nice. So, boom. That's how fast I'm going. So, but that's fine actually because when you move up a slope in real life, you move a little bit slower because you're trying to fight gravity a little bit. And also that's my game too. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of showing it off a little bit while showing you that this, this method works. It's pretty nice and it's very simple. It's a lot more simple than other methods I've seen. If anyone else has come up with this, then I just haven't found it. I've done tons of Google searches on this. I'm just surprised that this that the solution was this easy. So have a good night, and I hope this helped. Let me know if you guys have any problems in the comments.